All right, guys, we're gonna be laying down the law with a 12 gauge today. Mossberg 930 TAC. Man, these shotguns are fantastic. I've got nine rounds of military buckshot loaded up. I think we're gonna get rid of a few of those here. Let's do it. Yes, sir. <laughs> guys, welcome back. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. All right, this is going to be a ton of fun. Um, I picked up this particular shotgun through Moss. Uh, folks up at Moss Pond, really, really great people. We've always uh, had good history with the folks up at Moss. Lots of uh, really great videos we've made over the years up there. Uh, but Michelle took this one in used, and I was able to procure it. Uh, these are great shotguns, uh, even on the new uh, end of things. These are very, very affordable shotguns. It's a great semi-auto. You don't have to drop a ton of money to get a great semi-auto shotgun. And in my opinion, if you're only gonna have like one or two shotguns laying around, one of them needs to be a semi-auto for sure. Um, and shotguns are one of those things that like not everybody likes them. And the manual of arms and the recoil forces they generate can kind of shy some people away. But I feel like for home defense, man, a semi-auto shotgun is really hard to beat in terms of just raw payload. And we're gonna demonstrate that here today. Now that was some Olin or Winchester, uh, military buckshot there in the intro. Uh, standard pressure, two and three quarter nine pellet. I made short work of everything downrange there. But shotguns are the ultimate chameleon, okay? They can do everything. Uh, buckshot, we have an assortment of pellets that just went downrange, but we can also shoot solids out of a shotgun. And this gun is chambered for three inch shells. We are going to be shooting some three inch rounds today and they're gonna be nasty. All right, so the first one, now we got Mr. Watermelon down there. I think this is the time of the video when we need to uh, attack a watermelon. All right, let's do that. Now, uh, I know I've said this and I don't wanna be a cheese ball when I say this, but the Berniki Black Magic, it has a bear on the box. Okay, so what does that tell you? Okay, now on this round we got, <laughs> Yeah, a one and three eighth ounce slug, three inch slug. Woo, son. Muzzle velocity of 1,500 feet per second. 3,000 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. That right there is what we call get out of here. All right, I'm gonna drop one in. Oh man, I just felt the pain go home. Here we go. All right, Mr. Watermelon. You're not a bear, but you're the closest thing I've got. I'm gonna shoot the one in the middle, Chad. What do you think? Send it. All right, that ejected good. We're gonna shoot a few more uh, fleshy things here in a moment. We'll go through and uh, try out a couple of more rounds. Um, I've got some three inch Federal 41 pellet number four buckshot. All right, now watch this. I'm gonna take uh, one of these rounds. And I'm just gonna group it there on that uh, plate there on the uh, right side. 41 pellets of number four. Now number four buckshot is smaller than double alt buckshot. But check this out. Now this is a cylinder bore. So there is no choke on this barrel. It's just a smooth bore, cylinder bore. Um, the magazine on this shotgun holds seven rounds. You can ghost load one on the follower and one in the chamber to make nine. So just like a Benelli, I mean, it's a full uh, capacity shotgun, despite being very handy. All right, 41 pellet number four buckshot over here. I'm gonna take my time, I'm gonna aim at the bolt right there. <laughs> you don't want no part of that. You don't want that in your life. Well, if you're the good guy and you got your, your shotgun by your bedside or whatever. Okay, it's time for another watermelon. We are going to shoot a, another Berniki load. Uh, this is a Special Forces Maximum Barrier Penetrating Magnum. Uh, one and three ounce uh, slug, two and three quarter. And these are moving at 1,650 feet per second, uh, 3,500 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. So 500 more foot pounds of energy than the bear slug. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Say the word. All right, Mr. Watermelon. You're not a barrier, but you're the next best thing. 
Whoa, gosh, holy smokes. <laughs> Dude, that round has so much freaking recoil, it's not even funny. Like that, that is one hard kicking 12 gauge load. So here's the thing. There's no such thing as a free lunch in physics, okay? It, there just isn't, right? If you want that raw energy, you want that power, you want that weight and that speed, you take something that's heavy, you get it moving fast, that's where you get some real power going down range. So yeah, these, these loads, these are on the upper end of what this shotgun can handle, but it is an visceral amount of energy. It is just pure energy, okay, which is just awesome. So if you need to deliver a, a energized payload <laughs> with a single heavy object into another object, it is good for that. All right. So anyway, getting back to the shotgun itself, um, these shotguns have been around quite a while. They've kind of become a bit of a staple um, in the shotgun world. The 930 is super, super popular. It comes in a variety of different configurations. You guys have probably seen the 930JM model, which is Jerry Michalik's, um, you know model that he uses to compete. Um, it's really a kind of souped up and fancier version of this basic 930. Now this is a tactical model. You can know the tactical model by the knurled bolt handle, uh, the ghost ring sights and the rail up here on top, and the full length uh, seven shot tube. Uh, the polymer furniture, uh, reasonably comfortable, uh, very basic arrangement, not very uh, you know, overly crazy, just nice and basic. Uh, Jerry has a new shotgun out called the 940 JM. And uh, if you guys haven't seen it, it is a fantastic shotgun. I had a chance to play with it a little bit. Jerry came down to visit and brought it. Uh, I have not been able to get my hands on a 940 yet, but when I do, I will do a video on the new 940 as soon as I can get my hands on one. We are a big fan of semi-auto shotguns here on this channel. We, we love them, they're great. Uh, Chad loves them, I love them, John loves them, we love them. <laughs> and it, we kind of fell a little bit into that pistol caliber carbine realm as well. So I treat semi-auto shotguns very much in the same way that I treat 9mm PCCs. They're just, they're handy guns. The 9mm PCCs are great for home defense because they're light recoil, fast follow-up shots. It's an easy gun for anybody to shoot. Shotguns do require a little bit more gun handling skills to really get behind them and know what you're expecting and deploy them and use them in a home defense or tactical style of environment or whatever. Um, in an effective way that's not going to hurt anybody around you. Shotguns do have a, a lot of, of general energy. Okay, um, I'm going to shoot a couple more buckshot rounds. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, uh, I got some seven and a half bird. This is a pretty hot bird load. I'll just pattern a couple there on this, this second plate over here. All right, now this um, particular style of bird load, this is about a 1310 uh, feet per second load, a high brass bird load. So these are kind of hot on the top end. Uh, of the spectrum, but I do like running these through like a Sega 12 or a Vepr, uh, where typically, you know, you want a little bit hotter of a bird load uh, to run most of your uh, AK style shotguns and things. So um, that's what I run. I can't count as you can see. All right. Huh. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Bird shot on this plate. I'm just going to pattern a few just to give you an idea. We're only about 20 yards away. Not too far. a stout bird load yeah Remington Express XLR extreme long range very cool stuff all right it's time for watermelon okay this time a duplex uh, broadhead expanding hexel at 32 these are the one and one eighth uh, steel slugs these things are absolutely awesome so that's a 495 grain slug and uh, also thanks Michelle up at Moss for you know, getting us hooked up with these duplex rounds. Shotgun ammo, especially in the defensive realm, is really tough to get right now. So thanks, Moss, for helping us out. Okay, here's our 32 hexalit on Mr. Watermelon. Watermelon, be gone. This is my magic wand, my, my magic watermelon removal wand. I'm a wizard, watch, ready? Alakazam! That one didn't quite put the put the put the uh the hate on it like those other two slugs did but not too bad I, I i promised to make it disappear and i made good on my promise so 
We're gonna reset things a little bit and we'll take out a few of our sodas. Got a couple of three inch uh, shells to show off. This is a Remington three inch, 10 pellet, triple off buckshot. Uh, and this is yielding a velocity of 1,225 feet per second. All right, three inch shells, buddy, here we go. I'm just gonna load five of them. Yeah, buddy. Whoo, bring in the pain, okay. I'm gonna try to uh, send some of these triple aughts down range a little further. I'm gonna try to knock that plate over and shoot a few of our longer range targets out to about 35, 40 yards. Try to take my time here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that is some get off me medicine right there. You just, you can't ignore the pure energy of shotguns. All right, I've got one more slug I want to show off. I, I'll tell you what, I might load a couple of them. I've got, I've got a few. Now, these are pretty heavy as well. This is a solid steel slug from Duplex. 495 grains, so same load as the uh, 1 and 1 8 ounce. Well, it is a 1 and 1 8 ounce. Let's see if we got a velocity on that somewhere. Where are you at? Doesn't say. We're going to shoot a few of them. That's a 2 and 3 quarter load. I like these slugs a lot. These things are great. And uh, man, I don't know what I like more, the Duplex or the Bernikis. Now, those Black Magics are nice. I have to say that in terms of slugs, those Special Forces Barrier Penetrators are some pretty gnarly slugs. They're expensive, very expensive, like two, three bucks a piece. But if you're uh, task driven and you've got a very specific task to perform, like, I don't know, shooting through a car or through the, you know, wall or something, it's great for that. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna take out a few of our soda pops here with these slugs. All right, 500 grain steel slugs. I'm gonna see if I can uh, take out a few sodas. <clears throat> yes, sir. Those weren't bad at all. I mean, they don't have quite the recoil of that uh, of that big old big old honking uh, Berniki there, the Special Forces Magnum. Whew, man, that's a great slug. Uh, these shotguns are certainly a staple, guys. I, I believe that every serious gun collector, you know, if, if you're a gun guy, you can't go wrong uh, with a good old 930, especially on the used market. You can find these things for pretty reasonable money. I think on the new the new edge of things, they're only like. I say only, but they're like 600 bucks. In the world of a semi-automatic shotgun, particularly a tactical semi-automatic shotgun like this, this is gonna be pretty much your best bang for the buck in terms of a reputable company and a reputable shotgun, you know, something that's a proven track record, a proven design. Um, I highly recommend them. I, I love these shotguns, and if I'm ever, uh, you know, messing around in a little pawn shop or a local shop or something, and I see one of these things on the rack for, you know, $400 or south of that, pretty good thing to have laying around. You know, uh, good deer camp gun, good truck gun, four wheelers, what have you. Really just a good all around utility shotgun that can do a lot of different things. And with the availability of a lot of different 12 gauge loads, um, you know, these shotguns can really cover a lot of different territory in terms of what they can accomplish. Uh, I'm a fan of semi-auto shotguns. I know some people aren't big on shotguns. The recoil kind of chases some people away, but I like them. I think they're cool. All right, I'm going to load up a couple more rounds. How about some more military buck? And I'll go and uh, lay some havoc on these gongs here and let you guys get back to your day. I noticed one of these buckshot rounds was a, had an ugly crimp on it. Look at that, right out of the box. I guess that's why it's military uh, overrun buckshot. This must be the stuff the military didn't want. <laughs> Let us uh, lowly civilians buy some of it. Okay, three, four, I plead the fifth. Get there, six, away with you, seven. All right, we're not gonna ghost load it for this purpose. All right, let's have some fun, boys and girls. Oh yeah. Guys, have a great day. I really appreciate you watching. 
Um, definitely want to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters, those of you who purchase man cans over on the website. Uh, man cans is a great box of stuff we put together for y'all about every 60 days. Tons of useful items. If you love the channel, you love what we do, and you wish to support us directly, those are the most direct ways to do so. You can also go over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up a great t-shirt. All the funds we earn off of things like that go right back into the channel. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what your favorite semi-auto shotgun is. Maybe I'm missing one and we can do a video for you. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.